yesterday we had rain hitting the top of the studios. It was like a madhouse. If you forgot your umbrella or your jacket, something tells me today people are going to leave the house prepared, Carly. Yeah. yeah, well, there's not as much rain already than we had yesterday. A lot of this is taking place off in the Gulf of Mexico, which has been more similar to what we saw Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Thursday was the day that all of the rain came, especially for Corpus Christi and Padre Island. We picked up over, right around two to three inches through most of the city. Padre Island got over a foot of rainfall. Here's a look at the latest radar though, where we are keeping a close eye on once again, some storms moving along Highway 35 up towards Sea Drift as well. So this region is going to see the most rain throughout the morning, but even though so it's not a lot right now. Things are calm through downtown Corpus Christi. Quite a different view than what we experienced yesterday. Temperatures will be in the 70s this morning, 80s this afternoon. We still have that scattered storm opportunity into this afternoon, so we still have. We're still in the unsettled weather pattern. Still, that's the name of the game uh, today for the forecast. Friday and Saturday is when we expect to see the heavy rain at times. Actually, Sunday morning could get in on some heavy rain as well. I've been debating adding Sunday to this uh, win, but still need the rain gear and still be prepared to drive safe. There's likely still some puddles out there as well. Take a look at the satellite radar imagery. This shows where the rain is is kind of concentrating and where we're getting some of those vorticity maximums when we compare it to the upper levels of the atmosphere. But I want to point out we have moisture coming up out of the Rio Grande Valley and that's sort of going to push into the coastal bend. Right now this is just light rain. Fall. I don't anticipate it getting much stronger, but the pattern that we're in, it's taking moisture from the Pacific and in between these two, this is overall a, a great low pressure trough. Then we have two surface lows that have set up that are helping amplify the pool from the Pacific Ocean and the Gulf of Mexico into South Texas with the help of this high pressure system. So that's created this moisture stream that's moving right along the coastline and producing all the rainfall here for this area. But you'll notice this First, right here. That's something that I'll be keeping an eye on. But when it comes to our vorticity, you see all the storm energy associated with those lows, no storm energy associated with the high. That's because high pressure is sinking air and that doesn't really create rising air and give way to thunderstorm activity, but the lows do. And so when we take a closer look, we get storm energy into this afternoon. So I expect those pop up thunderstorms, especially for inland locations to be prevalent once again, heading into this evening evening we get more action along the coastline overnight right around this is paused at 11 30 right around 11 midnight 1 a.m tonight i expect some heavy rainfall to develop you'll hear it while you're sleeping and if you're out and about, driving could become a little bit dangerous overnight. Heading into Sunday, we lose a lot of that vorticity. So that's why I'm still keeping rain chances on the conservative side for Sunday. But once we get to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, high pressure sets up right on top of Texas. So for your rain forecast, once again, still numerous to scattered shower activity Friday and Saturday. Then we lower those rain chances quite low into next week. So this is what you can expect coming up this evening. Rain mostly inland. Then we'll see the chance for some coastal activity overnight into Saturday morning. And then look at the sunshine that's on the way. There's a little chance we see a few little pop up thunderstorms on Tuesday, but that's pretty slim. Just an isolated risk there. Overall, it's the heat that becomes the story next week.